Most of California's community property rules are default rules. Spouses may agree that different rules will govern their separate property, community property, or both. Such agreements may be entered into before marriage or during marriage. In this video, we'll take a closer look at agreements before marriage, known as premarital agreements. There are three key requirements to form a valid premarital agreement. First, the agreement must be in contemplation of marriage, meaning that the parties are prospective spouses. Second, the agreement must be in writing. And third, the agreement must be signed by both parties. The writing requirement stems from the statute of frauds, which requires that certain types of contracts be in writing to mitigate the risk of fraud. There are, however, exceptions to the statute of frauds. If an exception applies, then an oral premarital agreement may be enforceable. One key exception is partial performance, which arises if one or both spouses have already performed a significant portion of contractual obligations. More than merely entering the marriage is necessary. Assuming prospective spouses meet the requirements for a valid premarital agreement, their agreement will take effect when they marry. Once married, they may amend or revoke the agreement only via a written agreement signed by both parties. Now that we know how to form a premarital agreement, let's explore the permissible scope of such agreements. Generally, a premarital agreement may specify the rights and responsibilities of spouses regarding any property, whether held individually or by the marital community. The permissible scope of premarital agreements is therefore broad. The agreements may cover things like present or future interests in real and personal property, rights accompanying property ownership, such as using, conveying, leasing, encumbering, or abandoning property, the characterization and use of income and earnings, the distribution of property upon separation, dissolution, or death, the making of wills or trusts to effectuate the agreement, and which jurisdiction's laws govern the agreement's interpretation and enforcement. 